All right, so if this new Piggy theory is correct, we may be saying goodbye to George Piggy a lot sooner than we thought. Before we hop into this video, though, I do want to say congrats to these guys on screen for winning our Robux card giveaway from yesterday. And remember, if you do want to win one of these Robux cards, all you got to do is be subscribed and leave a comment down below with your Roblox name, Discord name, Twitter name, etc. Also, do keep in mind I can see who is subscribed and who isn't, so make sure you're subscribed and let's get on with the video. All right, so hopefully by now you've completed the distorted memory chapter that recently came out on Piggy or you've seen my previous videos where we talk about how George Piggy is infected because at the end of the chapter, obviously it is revealed that George Piggy is infected, but not in the same way as everyone else. Somehow or some way, he's only like half infected, meaning every now and then he turns into the monster, you know, the Piggy monster with the baseball bat, and then he turns back into normal. And every time we've seen him so far in the story, he's been normal, except for obviously that fateful night when he tried to escape from his house and he turned into the monster, the one that he dreams about and has the memory of every single night. Now for the past few days I've been trying to figure out why he is doing this why is he like this how did he get infected because obviously it doesn't make a lot of sense compared to everyone else getting infected like how how did this even happen and well I may have actually stumbled across the answer so one of you guys brought this up to me during one of my live streams and unfortunately I didn't write down their name but shout out to them and it has to do with this weird coffin that's in the back of the map in the weird distorted memory chapter so if you played the map you know that this coffin here this is where you put the two toys so George has two toys on the map he has Robbie the robot and then the dinosaur and once you find them and put them in the coffin then it gives you the key to escape the map now besides the obvious question of why in the world there's a coffin here and what is even in the coffin there's some interesting stuff on the side if you take a really close look at the side of the coffin you're gonna notice there's tentacles coming off of the coffin I'll put a picture up on screen but I'm not too sure if they're coming out of the coffin or if they're wrapped around the edge on the outside side obviously you guys can be the judge of that down below but while these tentacles are weird what's even weirder is if you take a good look at them you'll realize that they're the exact same tentacles as the one on the Paracy piggy skin the one that just came out with this update and of course Paracy is just another word for parasite so the parasite piggy with the tentacles and like the double ears and all that i have it up on screen you can see it so this theory here revolves around this parasite maybe this parasite has embedded itself inside of george somehow some way maybe he ingested it maybe mr p put it in him maybe penny betrayed him and like injected him with it no idea but george has somehow become infected with this parasite now this may seem completely out of left field and just crazy but there's actually some more evidence to this parasite taking over george around the map so around the map you're going to find weird little puddles of what can only be described as black goo we've never seen it before in piggy and of course this is the distorted memory chapter and why in the world is there just randomly black goo everywhere. Well, if you watch a lot of movies, play a lot of games, read a lot of books or whatever it may have you, you're probably catching on to what I'm about to say. This black goo is very, very indicative of, of parasites in any movie where there's a parasite or something that takes over someone, whether it's a ghost or even the Venom movie where he's literally a giant black goo parasite. There's black goo all over the place. No, I'm not saying that this thing is Venom from the Spider-Man universe or anything like that. But what I'm saying is that the parasite could have put all this goo here. It may be, you know, like evidence of the parasite being in the house. Now, this would also explain some other things too. Mainly, number one, that George doesn't seem to remember when he becomes infected and whenever the monster side takes over. We know this because when we find him in the mall chapter, he describes his family who was infected as, he doesn't describe them as monsters. He just describes them as something weird took over them and they went a little bit crazy like everyone else that he's come across. Now, if the same thing was happening to him, or at least if he remembers the same thing happening to him, he'd probably describe a little bit differently, but he seems to have no idea what's going on. And since he's a kid, he'd probably be scared and probably ask us what in the world's going on and why he keeps turning into a monster. So for some reason, he doesn't seem to remember it. Well, what could be happening is this parasite, whatever it is, parasite piggy could be taking him over, taking over his mind. So whenever it, it clicks in and, you know, it takes him over, he doesn't remember. And then after a while, the parasite backs down, leaves him alone, and then he goes back to being normal George. Now, what's really interesting interesting about this theory is that the same thing actually happened to us, the player character at the end of the school chapter. Because if you remember, when we first meet Mr. P, you go into the sewers, we're talking to Mr. P, Bunny's there, and for some reason we get really sick. We start to fall over, and the next thing we remember is waking up at the hospital. Now, at the end of the distorted memory chapter, the same thing happens to George. He's walking along, all of a sudden he starts feeling well, or not well, he, he bends over, and this thing starts taking him over. 
What if the same thing happened to us? What if when we met Mr. P, we turned into the monster and then the next thing we remember is waking up in the hospital? Maybe Bunny saw what was going on and took us to the hospital or maybe Mr. P did as well because keep in mind, they weren't at the hospital. So even if we were a monster, Mr. P probably knew what was going on being that he was the one funding the hospital and the one behind all of this to begin with. Now, of course, this is a pretty crazy theory and if it's true, that would actually be pretty cool. A parasite taking over George and possibly even us. It's a little bit out there, but it does make everything make sense. It would also tie into the parasite piggy skin that they added into the game as well. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. I'm going to be reading through all the comments and I'm really curious to see what you guys think about this. Of course, if you guys have not yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and make sure you leave your name or Twitter name or Discord name down below so I'm, I can pick you and give you a Robux card. And of course, keep using star code real creep when you're buying your Robux, buying premium. It helps me out a lot and I really, really appreciate it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys have a great day and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! <laughs>